Welcome children. We are going to finish our number poem drawings today. So uh, let me show you the ones we've done so far and I'll tell you the poem while I'm showing you. One straight staff on the road to take. Two Egyptian geese swimming in the lake. Three black swifts swooping through the sky. Four sailing boats sailing slowly by. Five sea horses floating on a wave. Six sea shells in a sandy cave. Seven flapping flags flying in the breeze. Eight wood owls sitting in the trees. Nine pink petunias nodding in the sun. And the last part, ten we've travelled round to where we first begun. And that's what we're going to draw today. We've come all the way up to number nine in our pictures. So let's finish off with our number ten part of the poem. Okay, there we go, a nice clean page and we are going to get drawing. So I have my crayons with me today. I use block crayons and stick crayons for my drawings, okay? Now let's create the scene, let's create the place where the part of the story, the part of the poem is happening. So we've, tr ten, we've traveled round to where we first begun. And where do we first begin something? We usually begin at home. So we are going to draw a house. Okay, I'm just getting my colors that I would like to use. So I want to use green. I've got the bright green. And I also have a dark green. Okay, so I'm going to, first of all, Use my papa bear to just go across the bottom. I'm not doing it straight. You can if you want. I think it's nice to have a little bit of uh, movement by having some bumps and lumps because that is how we find the earth, lumpy and bumpy. And then with the darker green with my mama bear again. Sorry, with my, um, I used papa bear before because you can see this is one of my favorite colors. Look how small it is. It's tiny, so I have to use Papa Bear, like it's Mama Bear, because they're very similar in size now. On this crown, because it's bigger, I'm going to use Mama Bear, and I'm just gently pulling the color across. And you should be able to see, if you do this, two different greens, and it just makes it feel more alive, and that's why I like using more than one color if I can. Okay. We're going to do a house, okay? But actually, before we do the house, we're going to do our traveler that we did on the first day. So let me just show you our traveler again, so you can uh, remember what your what the traveler looks like. If I can find the traveler, the traveler is hiding. There we go. So there's the traveler. We had this lovely orangey red um, cape with a hood and the staff, the walking stick. And he or she must have really strong feet. There's no shoes there. I know I like to walk on the bare earth with no shoes. So let's draw our traveler. I'm going to get my orangey red. It's, it's a nice light red. It's got a kind of orange tinge to it, but it's not as strong as our other red. Okay. Here we, here we go. There we go, there's our red. So I'm going to do the cape. I'll start around here, which is about halfway up my page. And I'm going to come down. So you can see I've got a little curve there. I'm using Mama Bear again. And I'm coming down on the other side. And 
then coming close to the earth. It's a long cape. And then I'm going to do the pointy head. So I'm just using the corner of baby bear. Okay. And using this little part here, baby bear, I'm just colouring that in. Very gently. You can see I'm not pressing very hard. Okay, and our traveller is holding a star. So using baby bear still, I'm just going out to do the arm. Can you see? I've just done this shape here, straight line and straight line for the star. Okay, I'll push a little bit harder now, just to make the colour a little bit stronger. Now I've got the shape of the cape. Okay, I'm going to get my brown stick crayon. I'm going to do the feet. So one line, two lines, and then just an oval shape for the feet. And there you go, you have feet, it's so simple. You don't need to go into the detail and the toes and things. You can just make this lovely little shape and then you can see that they are feet. And an oval for the hand. And then the face. I'm just gently going out and doing this curved shape. And then I'm doing the nose. So there's a pointy nose coming out. And just very gently colouring. And let's have a look at the face of our traveller that we did last time. Okay, well, the traveller looks happy. That's a happy traveller. And the traveller's reached home now. So the traveller is even more happy because he or she had such a long journey. So I've just got to my black crayon. Just do a little eye there. So I'm just doing a little line. And then a nice smile. That's one happy traveller. And I want to do the star. So I'm going to use my baby bear brown crayon for the star. So I can see I want it to be about here, going up. Okay, so I have the star. Now I'm just going to get my other brown actually because I can see I'm using the same one. And that's fine, if you have one brown, that's great. You can still use what you have. But I want it to be a little bit different. So I'm going to add another brown on top. And then just do the, the hand again. Okay, the traveller is home, almost. But the traveller doesn't have a home yet. So let's do the home. I'm going to use my brown. I'm going to use Papa Bear, the long one. And from the ground up, I'm going up, 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 up. And then I'm going to go across. And I want to do a doorway. Okay, so using my Papa Bear, sorry, that's not Papa Bear, that's Baby Bear. Using Baby Bear, I'm going to do this shape. So have a look first before you, before you start drawing. Let me show you first. So up, up, up. And then I'm going to curve around at the top. And then I'm coming down, 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 down. So there's the door. And then I'm going to get my stick crayon brown. And, and I'm going to do a shape on the inside of the door. So I'm following the door, the shape of the door. And I'm going down. And then when I get to about here, I'm coming under. Okay, so let's go around this way. We go up, down. So I'm just making it a bit darker. Okay, I have a door frame and I'm going to color the house. So with the same color brown I used here, I'm just going to Use my Papa Bear, the big part of my crayon. 
to do the, the, the wall and here. Okay, I have the wall. I'm going to color the door frame. To do that, I'm going to use my other brown. If you don't have bra two browns, you can choose another color and to color your door. So it looks different. We don't want them to be the same color this time. So you can either press down really hard with the brown you have so it comes out differently. It comes out darker than the house. Or you can just choose a whole new color. There's the door. I want a door handle. Otherwise, the traveler won't be able to get in. There we go, the door handle. And then I'll just get my golden yellow. And I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to use Papa Bear to just come out a little bit from the house and do a roof and then using baby bear I can do this can you see I'm just doing straight lines coming down and I'm creating a thatched roof so a roof made out of out of hay Okay, I'm going to do the sky with my blue papa bear. Ooh. Be careful around the traveler. I can't see the blue when I go over star but I will if I go over his his cape or her cape. A tiny bit in there. Okay and then I want to just get a purple and very very gently just do the door. And I will finish off with some green, just doing some tufts of grass by the home. And there we have the final part of our poem. So let me, re let me tell you the poem again and then we'll see this last one. One straight staff on the road to take. Two Egyptian geese swimming in the lake. Three black swifts swooping through the sky. Four sailing boats sailing slowly by. Five seahorses floating on a wave. Six seashells in a sandy cave. Flapping flags flying in the breeze. Eight wood owls sitting in the trees. Nine pink petunias nodding in the sun. Ten. We travelled round to where we first begun. And I'm not sure if you can see it. I hope you do. Here we have our number 10. One, zero, number 10. Thank you so much for drawing the number poem with me. I've really enjoyed it. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.